It was tough. Um, you know, I grew up with a single mom. You know, my dad was around, but I lived with my mom. Uh, you know, they had me, I think they were seniors in high school or mm. right, like right after they graduated high school. So, you know, they was young and, you know, growing up in St. Louis with, you know, not having much and um, just kind of being in that environment, um, you know, you, like you know, most people, you don't really know that you 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 poor, you don't have it in, until you grow up or until you get, something else, you get around right? people. Yeah, until you do things like that. So, uh, you know, I, I love St. Louis. St. Louis is 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 the big one of the biggest reasons, you know, why I am who I am today. And I always, you know, go home as much as possible and, and show love whenever I can. Uh, you know, just because it, it 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 got me to where I am and. You know, we all we all got stories and situations of, you know, a lot of guys that came from the same place as us, but you know, a couple mistakes or a way that they didn't, didn't make, you know, make it. And yeah. you know, I, I tell people all the time. People ask me like, you know, why, you know, why are you so confident, or you know, what was your biggest fear, you know, growing up? And I always wanted to, you know, play basketball and be in the NBA, and I never felt like I wasn't good enough or I didn't have the talent. You know, my, I tell people my biggest fear all the time was just growing up in St. Louis, just being at the wrong place in the wrong time. Mm. Uh, I was That was like Not a real fear out. for me growing up. You know, just always... I tell people you know, that all it, the time, bro. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. real. Like, being at the wrong place at the wrong time is is scary, especially, you know, back in St. Louis. So I, I thank God every day, I, you know, I was able to live out my dream. Jason Tatum's high school senior class, I thought they, that class had so much talent. I thought that they would definitely have a couple stars out of his high school senior class to be stars in the NBA. But Jason Tatum is really the only one that really uh that really panned out out of that class as being a potential uh star. Um they had uh Harry Giles, he went off through those uh knee surgeries. That kind of, you know, diminished his uh his athleticism a lot. Uh Josh Jackson, I don't think he's even in the league no more. Um, they had Malik Monk, um, Miles Bridges, who else? De'Aaron Fox was in uh, that class. He's turned to be a, to be a, a pretty decent player. Um, who else? They had Lonzo Ball, Markel Folks. Um, I think Dennis Smith Jr. was in that class as well. Uh, Terrence Ferguson. They had some man. They had some really talented guys in that senior class. And, I mean, it just seems that uh, Jason Tatum is really the only one to, to break out to become a star. I thought they would have uh, more stars out of that class, but that just goes to show you that you never know who who's going to be who. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Right here in this video, we got Jason Tatum talking about how his biggest fear growing up was being in the wrong place at the wrong time and jeopardizing his basketball career. And that is something that is so true and something that I, I really didn't think about as I was growing up coming to play basketball. And that's uh, something I think was a big detriment to me and my career was I just thought that, uh, I thought, I didn't think that time and matter. I thought that all that mattered was that if you were good enough, that you would, you would be there, you would get there. If your skills were good enough to play in the NBA, that you would one day be in the NBA. And so I really focused on my skills and being the best basketball player that I could be. But uh, a lot of things have to go right. A lot of, a lot of uh, things have to be, you have to be in the right place at the right time, have the right person see you for a lot of things to take place. And so it's just um, it's just something that you should keep in mind as well. You could be the best player in the world, but if nobody of any significance gets to see you play and get to see your talent, it doesn't even matter. You can't, you still won't make it to the NBA if the right people don't get to see you. If you don't create enough buzz or, or whatnot, then it, it doesn't matter how good you are if, if the right people don't get to see you play. Man, growing up in Detroit, Michigan, there were, man, plenty of players that were good enough to, to play in the NBA. I, I grew up with, man, several players that had the talent and the skill level to play in the NBA. But I mean, for one reason or another, you know, a lot, most of them didn't make it. And that's just uh, how it goes in basketball. In basketball, you guys, it's only a handful of players that are just so talented that they're going to the NBA no matter what. I mean, K 
Kevin Durant, you know, uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo being that tall and that agile and all that, LeBron James, you know, it's just a handful of players that are just so talented that they're going to be there, I mean, almost no matter what. A lot of players that start on your very favorite team could be a bunch of different people that are just as good or just as skilled as them, but they weren't in the right place at the right time. They didn't have the right timing. They didn't have the right agent. They didn't go to the right school. But it's uh, plenty of people who are just as skilled as a lot of starters in the NBA and everybody on the bench in the NBA. It's only a handful of people that are just so talented that they're going to stand out so far. But, I mean, the rest of it is really just, you know, being in the right place at the right time, having the right people behind you, having the right people around you. I mean, of course, your skill level has to be up there. But, I mean, what's separating you from another player that has your same skill set? I mean, shoot, his his agent might be the same age. His agent might be Rich Paul, and that can get him in the door. Your agent might be somebody that you don't, that, you know, it only has a couple players in the NBA. Stuff like that matters. And those are things that I never thought about when I was coming up. And so just keep those things in mind. You want to be places where you can be seen. You want to go to camps where scouts are and things like that. You want to be careful with the school that you pick. You want to pick a school that'll uh, complement your game. You, uh, If you're very good in transition, you don't want to go to a school where they're walking the ball up the court. You want to go to a school that's going to uh, that's going to complement your game and, and let the things that you do well shine. You want to be careful about the agent that you sign with. I mean, everything. It's a lot of things that go into play as far as making it to the NBA, even making it to college, making it to wherever you want to go. It's not just all about your skill level and how good you are at basketball, because I mean, because there's a lot of skilled basketball players. But you have to also have the right situation as well. All right, so thanks for watching this video, guys. You know, go on the link in the description and and cop some merch. Help the channel out. Help me to keep making these videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, I'm out.